Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to talk about slow motion. Now, it's a big topic, and there's a few different ways to do it. it. Specifically, there's two different ways to do it in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. To answer a common question right out the get-go, Movie Studios does not have speed ramping in the traditional sense. It doesn't have the ability to kind of slowly increase and slowly decrease the speed over time. There are multiple ways to speed ramp in Vegas Pro. Movie Studios doesn't have that direct speed ramping. However, you can still kind of mesh together slow motion and fast motion effects to get a pseudo speed ramping kind of effect. But there's lots of reasons to use slow motion that aren't speed ramping and Movie Studios has got you covered. So let's get started. First off, there's two different kinds of slow motion when you talk about like actually using slow motion. This is a 60 frames per second footage, but our project settings, if you look at our project settings here, it's 30 frames a second. For practical purposes, this is 30 frames a second. And we have this video right here. If we look at its properties, it is at not just name 60 frames per second, it is 60 frames per second. So the question is, what is it going to display as in Vegas? And let's count. Let's go to one second of video, which is right here. This is our target. So we're going to count how many frames starting at the beginning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Boom. Right here at 30, we have one second. So because our project settings are 30 frames per second, it's only showing half the frames. It's still displaying in real time. It's this normal clip. Let's watch it. It's displaying in real time, but it's only using half the frames because the project is told to display at 30 frames per second, and that's exactly what it's doing. If we do the first way to do slow motion, we're going to use that other clip in a second, we can hit control and stretch it out. So that you can also do this down here with this time stretch compress tool, but the easiest way to do it is instead of trimming, you just hit control when you're trimming, and you'll actually stretch this clip out. And when you stretch it out, you'll notice there's a number in the corner, and that's the playback rate. Right now it's at 76% playback rate, but if you do a little simple math, if you think about it, 50% playback rate would be perfect because you have 60 frames per second. And if you want to show all the frames in 30 frames per second, you need it to play at half speed, right? Because 30 is half of 60. So if we get it to 50% playback rate, or half speed, you're going to see a natural slow motion where there's still a natural motion blur, a natural looking motion. This is how the slow-mo guys film slow motion. See, so it's slower. It's still this is a very fast event, but it's slower. It takes more time, but it's slow motion without generating any frames. So that's the first way to do slow motion. Now, you can stretch this out slower but you're going to start having Vegas is going to start having to create frames because now you you're out of your frame repository. So let's talk more about that frame creation. This is a 30 frames per second clip. Let's go ahead and look at the properties so you can see it is 30 frames per second. That's a practical 30 frames per second. So this clip when we watch it, it's just me spitting out coffee in real time and it is exactly one second. If I stretch this out to be at 50% playback rate, it's going to be at two seconds long, and you're going to notice something. It looks kind of good, but it's a little blurry, and it ha Vegas has to create frames in between. And you see these like blur, blur, blur. It kind of generates a fake motion blur already. Now this is what's called resampling. This is not part of the slow motion effect. This is just standard resampling that happens on a lot of the projects. And it's there's a lot of reasons why you would might want resampling on, but for our purposes, we do not want it on. I want to show you what it looks like without it. If you right click on the clip, you can go to uh, properties and then see this disable resample, select that radio box and hit OK. So now when we arrow through it, you'll see there is not any extra blurs created. And let's watch it. It's at half speed and it looks kind of good, but you'll notice that there's a freeze frame in between because I'm now showing 60 frames per second, but I only have 30 frames per second 
30 frames per second source. So every other frame is a freeze frame. And for some purposes that might be good, but if you want to stretch it out even more, you're going to notice a lot more freeze frames. And so you'll see a stuttering effect. So you need to decide how much of that stuttering effect is okay. And if the answer is none or very little, what you can actually do is use the slow motion effect. Now this is the second way to do slow motion in Vegas. With the slow motion effect, right here, slow motion, you can drag it and drop it on your clip. But first, I want this to get back to 100%. I don't want to. I don't want to slow mo something that's already slow mo. So we had a one second clip. I've got this back to 100%. This is no longer in slow motion. It is a normal speed. We're going to drop the slow motion on this clip, and we're going to select fine because coarse is uh, a rough look at the computer taking a rough look at the footage. Medium, a pretty good look. Fine, the best quality you can have is with fine, and hit analyze motion. You're going to have a little render box pop up. Mine pops up on my other monitor, and it's going to look at the footage and really take a deep look and create eight frames. It's going to do a very specialized kind of resampling to create frames that generate kind of a motion blur look to it. And it defaults at half playback rate. So we already saw half playback rate, but let's take a look here. We're going to notice a couple of things. It says first the method is optical flow. There's two methods, we'll talk about that. But with this first method, optical flow, you can see the reason why I'm using this clip is because it's actually a bad clip to do slow motion on, and it's because of my shirt. My shirt has very particular lines on it. And these lines really show some of the weaknesses of creating and resampling frames because your eye can see whenever there's a minor mistake. So the liquid looks really good when it's created, the frames are created, but the shirt, you can see some issues. So I know there's issues on the shirt. That's something I want to warn you about. Look out for that when you're filming. This, if you're planning on using this effect, you need to look out for things like patterned shirts. That's a great way. Those can cause issues for a lot of things in video. So um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this preview window, and we're going to go to Best Draft Auto, because my computer's pretty beefy, um, and it's still having issues displaying this because it's having to do a lot of live math to show you this. So if we watch it in draft, it'll be less pretty, but it'll show you what's going on. Now, a note, like I always know, if you ever want to see exactly what's going on, highlight your video, right-click, and selectively pre-render video to the exact codec that you're going to render out as. When you do that, then you can see the video, how it's exactly going to look in the render, uh, but we're not going to do that right now because um, I'm not going to be rendering this out. So there we go. We see the slow motion. And you're going to notice a, that it shortens the video. If you want it to take up the time it's supposed to take up, right? So this is supposed to be about two seconds. Uh, but it still only has that original one second of time. So we actually end up cutting out some of the, some of the drink spitting. You can really see that if I go to a fourth playback speed. The, the effect really starts to get warped on my shirt there and you don't even see me finish spitting out the drink. So if you wanted that to take up the improper amount of time it's supposed to, what you need to do is highlight the clip and make sure that the track is also highlighted and go to Tools, Extensions, Adjust the Length of the Slow Motion Plugin. Now it will not stretch out your audio and that's okay. Slow Motion Audio is another bear. Uh, but Video There we go. There, now we have the long, slow playback. When we watch it live, you can see the effect does. This is this is shows the strength of the effect and the weaknesses of the effect in one shot, which is why I like this. So the strength is this liquid. Look at that. It really does look like the liquid's coming out in slow motion. But the weakness is anytime something crosses over my pattern shirt, it shows. So now we've generated new frames to do slow motion using a computer algorithm. And you can do this with morph or optical flow. So morph does it a little differently. I find morph is a better method to use 
when you're do have something with a lot of motion blur and optical flow is 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 what I typically would go with but morph I feel like is better when there's a lot of motion blur uh, let's take a look at morph here so this is kind of a fast motion I think morph is actually gonna look a little better you can still see the problems with my shirt right and that's just that's just because computer algorithms have problems with patterns like that any little difference is just gonna show um, but there, Morph looks really good for the liquid. It looks really, really good for the liquid. So those are the different methods you can choose. You can swap between them. If you ever want to start over, just hit Clear Slow Motion Data. And that is Slow Motion in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. I want to talk about speed ramping. A lot of people want to do it even in Movie Studios. And you can still kind of fake the effect. So if you want it to go fast and then suddenly slow just cut where you want it to go slower and then you can just stretch out the part you want to go slower and then you can have it speed up again just by connecting back where it left off see and so that's not exactly speed ramping but it really gives you the bulk of the speed ramping effect without actually having to use the velocity that you would find in Vegas Pro. So that is slow motion in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. If you're new to editing, I have all sorts of intro tutorials, especially for this particular software. So please check those out. Also, if you want to learn more about editing theory, check out my Udemy courses. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.